How about if the US Navy could offload its retired conventional aircraft carriers to allies like the UK, boosting British sea power while recycling American hardware? But why hasn't it happened? We'll unpack the real reasons, from worn out hulls to national security red lines. With the last US conventional carrier decommissioned over 15 years ago, and the UK building its own beasts, let's dive into why a sale never made sense. The US Navy's conventional, non-nuclear carriers were the Kitty Hawk and Forest Hall classes, built in the 1950s to 1960s. The last ones retired were USS Constellation in 2003, USS America expended as a target in 2005 during SYNCX tests, USS John F. Kennedy in 2007, and USS Kitty Hawk in 2009. After decades of heavy use in Vietnam, Gulf Wars, and beyond, these ships logged thousands of flight ops, making them beyond economic use by retirement. Rusted, outdated, and requiring billions in overhauls for further service. The UK Royal Navy, eyeing 50-year service lives for its vessels, wouldn't touch them, recost more than building new, like their 6.2 billion pound Queen Elizabeth class launched in 2017 and 2019. US law prohibits exporting nuclear tech, but even conventional carriers carry sensitive systems like radars and comms, vital for force projection. The U.S. historically avoids selling capital ships abroad to prevent tech leaks or bolstering rivals. Instead, they scrap or museum them. For the U.K., a close ally via Five Eyes and AUKUS, it's not needed. They invested in QE class for sovereign capability, avoiding reliance on U.S. hand-me-downs. Plus, conventional carriers lack QE's Stovl efficiency for F-35Bs, and UK's budget focuses on new builds amid declining naval power. By the data right now, the US has 11 nuclear carriers, and the UK two modern ones. Sales would undermine domestic industry and alliances. Export controls under ITAR restrict military sales. Even if possible, retraining crews and integrating old tech would cost billions. UK spent three billion pounds plus on QE alone. No demand. Allies like France have their own, Charles de Gaulle, and most focus on regional power, not global projection. The US prioritizes its own security, retaining or destroying assets to avoid proliferation. In sum, no sales because no viable ships left, security risks, and UK's self-reliance.